You are now live. I'm gonna wait a little bit for people to get here um, cause it's kind of slow at first. Hello, Mike. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm here to, wait, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer actually. Oh my God, there's so many people here. What the, what the heck? Um, hi, everybody. Bienvenidos a mi video que voy a hacer donde voy a entrevistar a unos escritores, productores que ayudaron con mi EP, Mi Mejor Mitad. And I'm, basically what I just said was I'm going to be here kind of talking to writers and producers who helped me write my EP. Yeah, my birthday is in a few days. It's, um, what day is it on? Uh, Friday? Friday. I think it's, on, yeah, it's on Friday. Um, I'm turning 19. 19 is kind of an awkward year, but, you know, it's my last year as a teenager, technically, I guess. So that's crazy craziness. Um, what does this mean? What is this emoji? I don't know what... Oh, here, let me look up. Okay, so the first person I'm going to go live with... I don't know if she's here yet. Oh, she's here! Okay, let me ask. Yeah, we'll be reading the questions throughout. I just invited Ale, and I'm, if you have any questions for her too, let me know. Um, if your favorite song, wait, okay. which, how many of you guys like Phil <laughs> Está Bien? Hi, Ale. Hey. I'm gonna have them like say if they like one song or the other. So if you guys like Todo Está Bien, put like a wave or something, because it's wavy. And if you like the chase, put the um, cowboy emoji. There we go. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with the song. I know, right? <laughs> I wrote down some notes. Um, it takes a while for the comments to like load, so it might be. But how are you, Ali? I'm great. How about you? I'm good. You know, I've been trying to like not get lost, I guess, uh, during quarantine um, direction wise. Like, I've been writing a lot, but I don't know. It's just kind of hard. Okay, a lot of people like to chase. I mean, I'm seeing like half and half of everything. They're both just so good. They're, well, yeah. well, the reason why I ask is because Ale helped me write both of those. Yeah. So here we have an icon, um, a legend. <laughs> My go-to girl. She I love you. Me. She, because she's just like bilingual and you know she helps it in my in my in my sessions would you say that like it's always like half and half you know like, I, yeah. we're like spang the spanglish crew you yeah, know we're I, mean? the spanglish crew. <laughs> I just and you, know, you and i are very similar in that sense that we like grew up in the states and we speak both languages perfectly fine and so i feel like that's why we connect really well is because we we got the spanglish vibes we relate on that level for sure. Also, we're also very similar in the sense that she sounds just like me. Like when <laughs> she records a song. Okay, so she did the demo for Chase because I was really tired and I didn't have the energy to do so. And um, she basically recorded it for me. And <laughs> it was weird. It was really hard to actually like re-record the track because she sounded so similar to me that in certain parts i was like are you sure that's not me singing like come on don't play like i already recorded that part and they're like no <laughs> it was ale it's ale we swear i'm like oh that's so weird i so know it's like another it's another coincidence that we have here it's really strange my publisher to this day still doesn't know who's who he's like is this isabella or are you i'm like ah you should know but yeah I <laughs> Um, well, yeah, you also work with, who else do you work with? Like, Becky G and... Anita. Anita. Yeah, a lot of bilingual vibes. You know what I mean? These young girls. Just like us. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you definitely look like you're, like, 22, honestly. Um, I am at heart. <laughs> yes, yes. We don't have to... We don't have to, we don't have to tell people the truth. No. Yeah. <laughs> We also oh, love but, dogs, but, which is something that we talk about all the time. We do. We talk about dogs a lot, which is surprising because I haven't met your dogs. I haven't met them at all. No, but I've met yours. Pluto, I haven't met the new baby, though. No, I just got her during quarantine. She's super cute. She's super, like, 
just uh we call her pp girl because she's pp all over the house and she's <laughs> like she'll like find really cool like unique places to just like take a shit and oh god the other day it was in um my mom's room the next day it was my room but in my bathroom like my extension you know the bathroom to my room and it, i mean at least she like tried to go in the general direction that she thought she was supposed to go you know like there was it, it's it okay. was near the toilet <laughs> They make mistakes. Huh? No, they yeah, probably they, make mistakes. No, she, even if she gets like a little bit excited, she'll just start like peeing. And How is Pluto? Pluto's good. Pluto's fine. He um, he's just chilling. He's happy that we're home all the time. Yeah. Um, but wait, let's uh, let's get into more of the songs and like the process of writing it, and then we can answer questions. Yeah. If you guys have any? Um. Okay. So. When we wrote Todo Está Bien, was that, that was in LA, right? Todo Está Bien. Todo Chase. Está Bien. So I think we wrote The Chase first. That was when you started your camp. Um, yeah. And so The Chase came first. And that was cool because that was my first time meeting Kennedy, Justin, Zach, Michael, like the whole crew that was part of the song. So it was like so cool because we're all just from like different places just shooting out ideas and i remember that we had worked before with the matt hunter song and right. the Yan Yatra mm -hmm. song and so now it was like this is all for you which was like so cool to see how you wanted to integrate like your peruvian culture and that was when we started experimenting with that and that's what i loved about starting with the chase it has those elements, you know what I mean? It's it does. It's your essence. Oh, for sure, yeah. And the sounds, the sounds behind it, like they did a really great job of just like incorporating it, but also modernizing it. And I definitely like that song. I definitely take as a blueprint to like what I want to do in the future, mm -hmm. specifically in the melodies. Um, but I definitely like, I remember I had an idea that we never followed through with because it was really hard to get them. They were like this Peruvian band mm -hmm. and they played at like a lot of heritage and like Hispanic events. And they were this really like popular Peruvian band and um, they played all the traditional instruments and it was really, really cool. They even wrote their own stuff. That's awesome. I was gonna have them come in and play over the songs, like the acoustic mm -hmm. version of the songs and then incorporate some of that into into everything like it would have been amazing but next yeah. time for your next one time, yeah um, but I feel like that's what's really cool about your project is that it's you it's isabella you know what i mean like i feel like the fact that you really stuck to your gut and i and we spoke a lot about it when we first started writing and you were like i just really want people to know like where i come from where my family's from and like what I grew up with. And I think that's, it's it's a really good thing to not lose yourself. Cause I feel like growing up in the States, you know, we have a lot of American friends and you just, the culture kind of just like takes over. But staying true to yourself is so, so, so important, especially when you're putting out music. Well, it's also like encouraged by people to kind of lose, yeah. to lose your culture and where you came from and kind of assimilate fully and completely. And that's kind of, what my mom had to deal with when she first came here as an exchange student. The first place she went as an exchange student was Indiana, like wow. Indiana. And that's, I mean, that yeah. you can't get more like American than that. You yeah. know, it's, <laughs> no one there spoke Spanish. She was like, she had to speak English, um, even if she barely could. So it's like really, it was really interesting to hear her story and I'm still finding out more about her to this day. But she like inspired a lot of my project too. I remember we wrote that song about my mom. Um, it was like, oh my gosh. It was all, Silver Plate was also inspired by her too. Yep. Yeah. Because we were talking about like privileged kids, like mm -hmm. nepotism. Which, which, which comes to in, in, into play in the moments that we're living in right now which I feel like it's a very current song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a song that's like really touching those delicate subjects. Yeah, we're, we're reworking it right now. Literally, I had a call with uh, Nick yesterday. Cool. But I really like the lyrics and, and I like the melodies and I like the... Um, the do -do 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 that that, that one, part that is so sick. <laughs> Perfect. And, and I just think I want to take the production in a different direction because I've had so much time to, to myself 
uh, during quarantine that I'm thinking, you know, I think I know more of what I want from my music. I've been listening to some really dope new music too. Like what? Like, have, I mean, there's Childish Gambino's new album, a lot of mm-hmm. Anderson Pack. Like, um, I like right off the top of my head, I've been listening to a lot of old music as well, like mm-hmm. from back in the day. A lot of, uh, like a lot of musica de la costa de Peru. That's great. Um, yeah, I've I've just been kind of exploring that, and and I've been reading a lot too. It's it's cool. At first, I wasn't very productive at all. I wasn't doing anything, and I think it's because I felt pressure to do something creative. Yeah, and so I didn't want to. If, if that makes yeah. any sense, I get yeah. it. Yeah, and I know that you like write four songs a day, so I mean, you probably. <laughs> got over that a long time ago but but it took me a while and and you know because usually I'm used to having co-writers but now I'm writing songs by myself because I, I mean I don't have no other option yeah and it's really really interesting to kind of get to know myself more and yeah and grow from that so that's fun. I feel like this is a great moment for you to explore also by yourself you know what I mean and like you can yeah. always integrate people that you love to like help finish something but I feel like if it has your essence and you start it that's just amazing I yeah, can't we, wait for we those even did what yeah I can't wait for our songs the ones that are coming out to come out soon oh my gosh they're- yes no there I I just I just can't wait for music more music to come out period like especially our songs that have, I feel like the seamlessness between the English and the Spanish is just so clean and mm-hmm. it just kind of flows and I feel like we're just gonna get better and better at kind of making them flow um but do you want to answer some questions from the people sure okay like, guys if you have any questions if you have any que you know quieren saber cómo or cuando escribimos la canción y like de qué se trata entonces pregúntame pregunten pregunten what's up there's just a bunch of flags i think it takes there's like a little bit of a lag yeah yeah me saludas Isabela. Hola, Ángel Gómez. One, two, three. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? Um, a lot me. of hearts. A lot of hearts. But love you. Are you going to make more music videos by Joe? Joe asked if you're going to make more music videos. Um, yeah, I want to. I mean, it's kind of like you're kind of limited right now. Um, Another yeah. cool <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I Which was so wanted- good. It was great. Right? Your video was awesome. Oh, thank you. I did it literally in this room. This I know. <laughs> it keeps calling me. What the hell? Okay. Oh. They just said, hi, hola, hola. Uh, somebody. Oh, somebody said, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> These are some really intricate questions, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, there's... How about I ask you a question in the meantime? Okay, yes. How was, the, how was the process of picking? Because you wrote so many songs. I think we wrote a lot of songs too, together. You were like four months, five months in like a camp. How did you pick between all the amazing songs that you wrote? Well, I mean, initially the idea was to do an album, remember? It was the album that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And then... And then with everything that happened, I had time to kind of reflect over what I had written. And even farther back, which was Todo Esta Bien, which I initially started writing in Miami. Um, yeah. And and from there, like, I just thought, okay, a lot of these songs have some common ground amongst them. And it's a lot of reflection and it's a lot of, like, growth. And, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll just combine them. And a lot of them hadn't been done yet. So I remember I like called you for help with certain melodies and, mm-hmm. and harmonies over Zoom. Uh, and I did it here in my studio over here. I know. Um, but the idea for the EP kind of came from, uh, it came from a conversation I had with my aunt on the beach in, in Peru, actually, like this past New Year's, back mm-hmm. when things were um, normal. normal. And I was sitting with her and my grandpa was there. My whole family was there. And, you know, like, los peruanos tienen como 50 primos and family that's, like, immediate. And it was, like, a party. Like, we took over half of the beach. Oh, and, you know. And, yeah. Huh? 
Latinos know how to party. <laughs> they do know how to party. And the thing is, like, oh, I now all of a sudden my friends want to like reach out to me right now in the middle of my life. Um, because <laughs> um, they know you're awake. <laughs> they do. They do. I she's wake like, she's up not at alive. eleven usually, or no, I wake up at like noon. Let's be honest with myself here. Goodness. Um. But yeah, and so she was talking to me, and, and she was like, have you ever been alone? Or no, I was like, oh, hey, our grandpa's really cool, you know? He's, he's like, really, he's really in it. He might be really old, and, and a lot of, like, older people, they kind of tend to be out of touch with what's going on. But he's always been on top of it. He's always been savvy. He's always been sassy. And he just, I admire him for it. And she goes, yeah, because he's always been alone, like, he spent a lot of time alone, and I'm like, "What is? What does that mean? Like, no, he has yeah. a lot. Of, he has a lot of family. He has a lot of friends. He has a wife. What do you mean?" And she's like, "No, but like, have you ever been alone?" And and I'm like, "¿Qué significa eso?" And she's like, "Sin tu teléfono, sin sin libros, sin música, sin like everything. Like, have you just been alone, solidarity, like by yourself, and just sat there and and without going to bed?" And I was like, no, I actually don't think I have. Mm -hmm. um, that would be, I mean, I don't know how that would be. And so during quarantine, actually, uh, she just suggested that, like, that would mean growth. That means personal growth and personal understanding. Therefore, you have a lot of growth and, like, groundedness in your personality and your faith in yourself as a human. So yeah. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Didn't really think much of it. But during quarantine, I actually got the opportunity to do so. And I actually got to be by myself and and kind of just learned a lot about myself. It was hard at first because I just didn't, I mean, it sounds really weird to say, but I didn't really like myself a lot. I just kind of put up with myself because in order to love yourself, you have to like forgive yourself for a lot of things that you've done in the past. Yeah. And, and I didn't think I was ready for that. And I got the opportunity to do so during quarantine. Isabella, you are evolving into a woman. <laughs> I hope so. that is womanhood. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. I'm sure you have a lot of advice too. Yeah, um, that I'll I, definitely reach out to you for. Yeah, good. I feel like <laughs> just like I'm here, you girl. You know, you can text me. Like I feel like th this has been a great moment for that, for growth, for really kind of disconnecting from things that were like keeping us busy in the wrong way. And mm -hmm. I feel like just spending time with your family and really finding out what's what's important in life because I feel like there's a lot of like health family love like all of that is the most important thing that you can have right now um, in these times so like recognizing that is like you're growing and you're like really understanding the reality of life and how it's supposed to be and that's great yeah Oh, wait, Jody Shepard said, how different is writing a song with someone else versus on your own? I mean, I'm sure you could attest to that, right? Yeah. I, I feel like it's, it's different. They're both amazing and they're both very special in their own way. I like writing by myself sometimes because I feel like it's just me and it's what I'm going through and it's like my essence and it's what I want to say. Like, I don't have to like check on this idea it's kind of just whatever flows from your body and your mind is what happens but then when you collaborate with people it's very special because then it's two brains coming together and really kind of like making a baby you know what i mean like it's a part a of brain you, baby a brain baby it's part of you part of me like it feels that much more special because then you feel like that liability like oh it's our baby like we got to take care of it we got to do it right you know what i mean yeah <laughs> somebody said call me puppy <laughs> <laughs> that's your song it it's a fun one it was definitely like a good, good first song to put out i feel like because yeah. I wasn't, it was like fun. It wasn't yeah. too, it wasn't too complicated. And yeah, yeah. easy. <laughs> so I love all I the songs on the EP. You, what? what the, I loved all of the songs on the EP. Like oh, literally there was, you. there was no fillers. You know, like how some people are like, okay, let's just add this one. I feel mm -hmm. like every single song had its moment and had its reason to be in the EP. It's, it was really special. This is fair. This is fair. I, I, I feel as though, yeah, I mean, for me, for me, each song kind of meant something really special to me. And for me, like the songs we wrote, Todo Esta Bien, was uh, kind of like an anthem for being alone and still being all right. 
Um, Because a lot of the times people think being alone means being depressed and lonely. Mm -hmm. But being alone is different from being lonely. So Exactly. I wrote this in Miami um, initially, and I remember you stepped on in the second verse and made that really smooth. Para que no complicamos si andamos por otros caminos. Si lo nuestro. For the English speakers, this is para que no complicamos. Why are we making Why are you making this harder than it needs to be? Why are we complicating this? Um, si andamos por otros caminos, if we're going through different er- directions, <laughs> uh, we're going <laughs> different directions. Um, uh, if, if what we had already passed like just trying to hurt me doesn't make any sense like yeah. it just doesn't doesn't make sense you're, you're really just stressing yourself out buddy um, <laughs> and it's, I mean it has a testament to it has a testament to what I had to learn which was letting go because yeah. when you don't let go of a situation where somebody hurts you you're only hurting yourself because that person has no idea that person, you're holding this grudge and all this pain and frustration in your body that that is not helping you at all. Yeah. And it isn't helping your situation with the other person either. Yeah. So you just, the more you hold on to that anger, it's just, it hurts you more than the other person. Um, and just like karma take care of it, you know? Yeah, karma. such great. Because I remember what you were going through. And honestly, like, you're so young, but I still feel like that's the process of learning in relationships. And... It's important what you said, that even though you're alone, like you don't have anybody, that doesn't mean that you're lonely. Like it's a great time to be yourself and explore and have fun and and meet people. And you know, when the right person comes along, it'll happen. It's not like, don't stress, your, don't, like, don't stress out. It's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, the more you look for it, the less it's gonna come to you. Exactly. The more you look for it, the more you romanticize it. Yeah. So don't look for it and stop like trying to find it in other people because it will come to you. Yeah, period. Great. Wow, I feel like this was a therapy Boom. session. <laughs> Girl, you, you should start charging people. <laughs> therapy. I'm like Jay Shetty. You know Jay Shetty? You know no. Jay um, He's like this, like, guy who is a therapist, maybe, or a life coach. Okay. I don't really know, but he talks to, he talks to a lot of celebrities, a lot of celebrities about, like, things that they've been through and their hardships and how to get over it. He's been like doing quarantine videos too about how like when you wanna when you wanna murder your spouse and oh you're like maybe God, I shouldn't. What? Maybe I shouldn't. They're pissing me off in every way, but maybe I happen? should like he <laughs> But wait, wait a second. Your spouse is cooking for you though. So oh, I'm also cooking though. Oh you're cooking. Okay. We're both making her cook for me all the time. <laughs> No, it's it's amazing. Honestly, like I feel like my cooking skills and his cooking skills have just like elevated during quarantine. Mm-hmm. So now we're just like little chefs. That's so cute. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm actually about to talk to Gio really quickly. I wish okay. I could have you all three on at the same time. That would be so, so fun. Two by two. Is but there no you feature find- for that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Well, anyways, I'm definitely going to hit you up about that therapy call and that therapy all right. session. You you hit me up, girl. <laughs> okay. Thank you for having me. Thank you for thank you for being here. I know you know you're a busy girl, and I just appreciate it just being able to share the little intricacies of my songs with my fans, the people I wrote the song with. So and I you. love do, I love doing it, and we're gonna do more. Okay, perfect. Love you. All right, everybody, say bye, bye to Ale. Bye. She's a beautiful bye. human. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. bye. Okay, I'm not out yet. I'm still here. Still got one more person we're going to interview. How are you guys liking it so far? It feels kind of weird because I'm not used to doing this. But I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be chill. Uh, Let me make sure Gio's on right now. Show my outfits. Which outfits? Which outfits are you talking about? My outfit. I'm cleaning my room right now, so it's kind of a huge mess. Um... Let's we can do a Q and A. We can do a Q and A after. Let me get let me get Gio on here right now. G. Dot o. Okay, I can't find him yet, but in the meantime, I'm gonna play some music for you guys. You guys want to do? Want me to play some music or do you want to do a Q and A? Just comment below. Si andamos por otros caminos, si no estoy ya pasado, 
Y en el hierbe no tienes sentido a pensar de que Vamos a verte en, la, en las películas. Sí, bueno, tengo una película de, de Netflix que ojalá va a salir, um, I think next year. I don't know, because with the quarantine, I don't know anything. Pero se llama Niña Dulce, Sweet Girl. I think that's the right translation. Pero uh, if you guys are familiar with Jason Momoa, he's also in that, mu in that movie. Movie. Um, let me see, let me see. Q&A. Okay, we'll do a Q&A. Y'all want to do a Q&A? We'll do it. ¿Cuál es tu música favorita en español? Um, el, depende del género, pero... Um, uh, depende, también depende en, en the mood, porque... A veces prefiero reggaetón porque amo al Bad Bunny y sus canciones. Con, y si veo a tu mamá, yo la pregunto por ti. And I know reggaetón gets a lot of hate, but it's so fun. Yo perreo sola. Tu, 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 tu. Oye, oye, oye. Um. Okay. Say my name, say my name When no one is around you Say, baby, I love you If you ain't running games Say my name, say my name You acting kind of shady Ain't calling me baby Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my name This, this lipstick has been through it And no one is around you Si, sí, me gusta bailar Um... Todo, todos estilos, um, hip hop, I, I actually can even tap, um, salsa, I like a good little salsa moment. Okay, Gio's here now, I'm gonna invite him. Gio produced Todo Está Bien, and um, obviously if it's your favorite song, put the emoji, the wave emoji. Hey, Gio! What's up? What the fuck is up? I miss you so much. How are you, man? I miss you too, man. Your whole family, everything. I know. We miss you too. Obviously, like my little brother, whose also name is Gio. Gio, um, yep. He yep. admires you so much and he really <laughs> loves you. Uh, but yeah, we are just, we're just talking. We're just chatting about the songs and the stories behind them. Todo está bien. I know we wrote it in Miami. Um, yep. Funny story, it wasn't even going to happen that session. Remember? Yep. yep. Because, I got called in last minute, I think it was. Yeah, because, like, the producer or the writer canceled. Both probably canceled, I think, or postponed it. And I was yep. like, how am I going to do this? And and I wanted to write a song because it was I was there for two weeks straight. And I didn't know who to call. And then I was like, who are you going to call? Geo.kb. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks to Leslie, who put it together. You know, from uh, from Cobalt, she called me last minute. And she told me, "Yo, you want to get in the session with Isabella Monet?" I was like, "Yo, I'm down. Let's get it." You know? Did you know who yeah. I was though? Like, were you were you confused? As you were like, "Who is she? Like, is she?" Is they she had now? they had mentioned to me. She was like, "Oh, she's this upcoming actress. She's killing it right now in Hollywood. You know, she's about to be Dora and everything." And You know, I'm willing to collab with but anybody, so I, I started. Be Dora. That's right. The movie yeah. hadn't come out yet. It hadn't come out yet, but I already filmed Dora. You had just finished filming it. Oh yep. Uh-huh. It was before you were going to go film the the one the movie you did for Christmas. Remember? Let it snow? Let it snow. Yeah. Wow. We did that session before you left to film that movie. Wow. ¿Cuánto tiempo ha uh, pasado? Like, dude, that was like in 2018, January. I no te creo. Yeah, oh yeah, it's God. been that long. Time flies, man. You I'm heard that you. here. Escribimos todo está bien en, en 2018. Hace yep. dos años. Wow. Casi, casi dos años. Casi sí, dos sí, años. sí. Yeah, we're in Miami. And I wrote it because we were inspired by Janae I call. Remember that? Yes, wow, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I remember you said, you're like, yo, I'm, I'm going through something right now. I just want to create. Yes. But I still want to feel good. So I was like, okay, well, what you feeling like? And well, you were like, was... yo, I like this Janae Aiko vibe. Yes. And I was like, 
Well, let's I was create tired something. Of boys, though, at the time, I think you remember that. Yes. I was yeah. tired of men. I was tired of writing songs about them, and uh, you know, I was like, maybe, <laughs> maybe I can write a song of not about them, and because I just can't. At that point, I was like, I can't stand love songs, and yeah. so yeah, 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 I yeah. wrote the song about the absence of them. You know, being alone. Um, exactly. Sola. And <laughs> I was just into that kind of theme, and 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 I wanted it to be all in Spanish too. Yeah. And I remember, you know, I was like, "Let me play some piano." And it was literally yeah. only three chords because I wanted something that bounced like her her piano and her music. Yeah, I remember um, you connected the piano. We did the MIDI thing, and I was like, "Yo, just go free. Let's see what comes right. out." And we just started vibing, and then the chords came out, and it's then vibing. <laughs> little by little, we just started creating with uh, yeah. with with uh, who was there? Um, Medina. Uh, Medina, oh my gosh, that's right. Yes. After that, after that, we couldn't get her to LA, so we ended up getting Ale on the second verse. Yes, um, yes, yes, right, yes, yes, right. yes, yes. So we did that with her. We started it with her, and then from there, you know, the song just we did what like four sessions for that song. Oh my I gosh, think. yeah, that's right because uh -huh, uh -huh. because. There was the initial session, and it was the one in LA, and I didn't like the way my voice sounded, or I wanted to read yes. the whole thing. Yeah. And then we had yeah, to do yeah. the second verse on top of that. Uh -huh. And then I went uh -huh. back home, and I did the, the last kind of edit on it at, in my yes. house. I remember that. You did the wow. second verse in LA, here That's in LA, right. with Ali. And, right. and then from there on, it was history, so... I was well, just you, happy we made it on the EP, man. You know, you, mean, we did so many records. We did like 10, I think. We and did. That's crazy. Thank God we one so of them many other there. songs that we need to release. And they, I mean, they will be released because, I mean, they're they're amazing. I, I yeah, absolutely love so the experience I have shit. writing them. Because in yeah. Miami, it's just a different energy. I feel like I belong yes. in Miami. I, <laughs> I feel like I should have grown up there. I should have, like, been there more yeah. often. There's it. something about Miami that just has a vibe. It just, Miami. I don't know, it just feels like, you know, you're in, on an island or something. It just has that tropical feel. It just doesn't feel. feel like los Estados Unidos. No, and no, no. And puede ser no. que, como que tienen un montón de restaurantes peruanos, que siento que, Exacto. siento más como, like, this is my mi hogar. Like, this is where I belong. Eh, I, I belong yeah. here. Um, yeah, it's true. I don't know. I don't know. It's because okay. Miami got that vibe, man. Miami's like the the only Latino city that you like. You said you will feel like you're not in the United States. So yeah, that yeah for sure. Yeah. But it's also yeah. like it's all it's also like maybe Miami is me as a as a as a place because <laughs> it's it, so it, it's so mixed, you know. Yes, yes. The English and the Spanish, and it's definitely yeah. No, Miami is a great place to do music. That, I mean, we did most of the songs we did were in Miami. Uh-huh. Yeah. We did, we did a did few that. sessions we after that. And icons too, yeah. Yeah, we did so many good records that are fire that people still haven't heard. I still the one the one you did on the piano and you're singing like like almost a cappella. It's oh an English God, record. It was the one um it And was that one, one you wrote it alone. I wrote it alone and y'all were like doing another song while I was writing it in the big yeah. room and yes, I was on the piano yes, yes. and I was just like just improv. You were in your zone that day. You just I like, yo, let me get in the live room. Let me just do some keys. And you just started creating a record. And we heard you through the mic. And we're like, oh, shit, we should work on that better. Like, <laughs> and I remember that. We added no, the drums, everything. That's all I've been trying to do is get back in my zone while yes. I'm here by myself with my piano. Oh, I got to show you my piano. I got it. Oh, you got a piano now? I oh, wow. Your mom told me you guys set up a studio now or something like that we have a studio where giovanni is there all the time and right now he's okay. not there but but um let me show you my piano yeah i can't wait to see it man this is my piano let me see oh wow it's a white nice. piano oh that's beautiful yeah oh that's super cool i love it so much this also this which is scary but um <laughs> my, it's dora it's dora I don't yeah know. yeah yeah um but yeah no so this piano is very old it is oh so it's used it's your body used it's it's used and it's so old that the the like company that made it that produced it okay doesn't even exist anymore they oh, don't even okay. exist and so okay. when we wanted to get it tuned I guess it's so old that it has a different like tuning situation. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. We, we had to get a special dude to come in here 
and tune it for us. Okay. Um, so it's straight vintage. It's straight it vintage. And he, oh, and that's he beautiful. Like, knew a bunch of celebrities and like old producers and composers yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was uh -huh. he talked a lot but he he was he knew a lot about what he was talking about yo but it looks crispy like i don't know did they retouch it like the paint or whatever because it looks they, super they nice. must have they should there's a few like imperfections here. okay okay i don't know what that is but um but overall, oh, so the there you go old, the ivory i think we need to which is kind of cool which is kind of cool you could create something dope mm -hmm. with that for sure it's like you, it, it, that's practically how we started and yeah. you're learning more chords as you go, because I remember you kind of getting the piano a little bit. No, I've been I've been taking piano lessons. Like oh, even better. Yeah, I've been taking. Piano See, lessons I always wanted way. to do that, man. I always do wanted it. to learn the piano like that. I I, I want to be like super professional at it. No, like. for sure. I want to like read music. I want to like actually compose and kind of orchestrate how my live concerts go. I want to uh -huh, do it all. Uh -huh. I, I Yo, that seriously. would be dope. Performing and touching the piano is, I think, one of the dopest talents ever, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to think is, what is the song I learned yesterday? It was, you know that song, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not in love, it's because, um, oh my gosh, it was in 1975, 10cc, those guys. Do you know that one? 10 CC? Um, yeah, it was here. Maybe if I hear it, I'll. I'll, I'll I just don't probably. know the lyrics. I, I learned the song, but I don't know the lyrics. Because I know a lot of old songs, but I don't know them by name. Like, I know, like, oh, if I hear it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I know what I that is. I think it's I'm Not in Love. I think that's the one. I'm Not in Love. Yeah. I'm, I mean, there's so many records probably About with that not title. Being in love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Oh my gosh. I, there's a lot of like dope stuff we could recreate for sure. Yeah. But oh, wait, oh when gosh, did you start yeah, your piano lessons some... recently? What? You just started learning like the piano with a instructor? Yeah. Well, it was maybe, maybe, um, but it was before quarantine. Okay. It was okay. at the. It was kind of at the end of last year, like at the end of the summer last year. Okay. So your yeah. quarantine's been like more practice, more. Learning yeah, the keys a little bit. Definitely. Well, I was okay. telling Ale, who was on the phone before you. I, I seen her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I didn't want to create at first. I was kind of like, because I felt pressure to do so. Uh -huh. I didn't, I didn't really, I don't know. It was a weird situation. You were a little shy at the beginning. I was. I was yeah. because I wasn't yeah. used to doing it all by myself. And even though I had done it by myself, yeah, I just kind of was just it was just me <laughs> yeah because you were a little shy i remember you were like oh i don't know like and you know and then that's why i said yo just play the keys and see what happens you know usually that's how good music comes out just by having fun and yeah good chemistry. exactly not overthinking it, it, yeah not overthinking you overthink and you're probably not gonna come out with something dope like it's all about the chemistry and the vibe in the studio and yeah. that's exactly what happened you know and with the other records that we did too and remember, we would always ask you, like, what are you inspired by right now? How, what do you feel like writing? What do you feel like making? You know, because mm -hmm. we didn't want to create something that you weren't feeling. You know, you had to be yourself. Of course. So that's how Todo Esta Bien came out. And it was, like, perfect, you know? So It flowed. That one flowed. I literally remember literally just yeah. doing the melodies, and it came out yes. in one take. It was natural. Those are always the most easy, simple, but, like, yes. fun and enjoyable. Same when you did Apocalypse that night. Remember, I went there so you could recut some vocals. Mm -hmm. And then you guys, uh, Maya came in with her dad. Mm -hmm. And then you guys came up with the idea of our apocalypse. And yep. your brother killed it on the beat. He did. And, he really it did. It was your I'm brother and another too. dude, right? What? Your brother and another dude from Peru, I think you said. Guy Fix. Yeah. Oh, man. He killed it. Guy that Fex record was so fire. Too. He's sending me tracks nice from peru and they're so yeah. cool like i just did one that's the it's called marinera oh, okay and it's the one two three one two three one two three oh, marinera on a three beat. that's like the two oh my god i'm I literally yeah. just learned some piano it's three but beats it's, it's the waltz it's the waltz basically um okay but they, okay okay yeah it's really really dope um oh that's fire yeah because yeah. apocalypse was one of the last records you did before the ep came out Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I think yeah. it was the last one that I touched up upon. 
uh, at home as well. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And it was dope <laughs> you got your brother involved because he's a talented kid, man. He is, and he's so shy. He was definitely not going to ask me to, to um, he was not going to ask me to do a song with me. It was, it had, <laughs> I had to initiate it because he's such a, you know, you know him. He's just, yeah, 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 he's yeah. Quiet no, Gio's and he's mad sweet. talented though. He's very talented. He's very low key, yes. and I love that. Like that's the opposite of me. <laughs> yeah, low yeah. key is the opposite of everything that I am. But, yeah, yeah, um, for I real. I love that. I love. I love. No, nah, but when you put him in the studio, he's mad talented. Like he comes up with stuff. I'm like, whoa, bro. I'm like, how old are you, bro? Like, yeah, he's and he for his age, like where he's at right now. I think in maybe four or five years, oh, he's gonna be a monster. A I, and he just keeps going at it. He won't stop. He whenever that's he's good. Here, he's always in the studio. And yes, he was that's like how I gotta 14. be. He was like fourteen, creating his own synths, and he's just he's just so cool. And yeah, I want to be him when I grow up for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants to be you. He uh, talks good about you, so you make me cry. He talks good about you, so he's he's good. You know, how's your dogs doing? They doing good? They're good. Let me. Uh, what up? Yeah, I miss you Pluto, have... man. I see you got another dog now, too. I got a little baby. So he doesn't He's get little... jealous? Pluto doesn't get jealous? Pluto, no. We, the reason we got her was because he got a... Oh, here he is! It's Mr. Pluto. Come here, baby. Look, look at me. Look at me. Here, here. Here he is. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's the best. Baby. He made our studio sessions dope, too. He was always there. That's right. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're remembering more than I am. But he was always he, there, like he would sit on the couch and watch, and then lay down. It, he was, he was something aggressively else. Aggressively licking people too. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Every time yeah, we would, yeah. every time we would bring in a new writer, um, he would just attack them with kisses. Yeah, yeah. No, he's super lovable. He brings the vibe to the studio for sure. <laughs> he, does. He, he does. He definitely brings the vibe. So. He's he honestly, I was talking about. I was like, maybe he should get credits on the on the EP for just being, yeah, <laughs> just being inspiration, he being my muse, executive producer of the whole album. He should have yes. been there. <laughs> I remember we took a picture with him, and he stared like right at the camera. Oh, he and, knows. He knows. Yeah. Whenever I pull out a camera, he knows to look right at it. But his favorite pose, his favorite pose is this. He'll like, he'll like turn around and be like, <laughs> that's his favorite pose. Yeah, I have yeah, yeah. so many pictures of him doing that. It's ridiculous. And, uh, he's he's like, I'm telling you, he's camera ready. He, that, that's what he is. That's what he is. Nah, but I can't wait till we get back in the studio, man. We got to make some more magic. I'm dying. You know, now I heard, like yeah. I said, now I know you have a studio over there. Now we could, you know, after all this is over, obviously, you know. Yeah, um, we're working on it. Hay mucho que hacer. Uh, sí, 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 sí. Eh, como que con, con equipment y, y micrófonos. Es que no, te, no tenemos el top notch de todos los micrófonos, pero funciona, you know? It works for the, yeah, for yeah. the circumstance. I mean, nowadays, with the Apollo, the Apollo, you'd be, like, perfect, you know? The Apollo yeah. is, like, perfect, the twin. Okay, bro. My no, bad, my little okay. nephew's over. Come here. You want to say hi? My little... My little nephew. I love kids. Dude. He's the best. Kids. Look, who's this? Do you recognize her? No. No? <laughs> Have you seen Dora the Explorer? Yes. That's her. That is? Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's her. He's Look, so say hi. Cute. Oh, she can't hear you because he's on the headphones. Oh, well, tell him that he looks like a, like a cartoon character himself. He's so cute. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? What the Yamas? Hi. Vincent. Vincent. Say that again, you cut out. Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'm Isabella. I'm Isabella. But also, sometimes I'm, I'm Dora. A veces soy Dora. <laughs> he's being shy. He's not that shy, but he's being hey, shy. He's cute. It's okay. It's okay. He's got the yeah. little dimple right here, too. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I've always wanted dimples. Uh, he's the best. He's the best. <laughs> Uh, say hi to everybody. You're on live. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Poor guy. Hi, even anybody. Oh, well, you can see. Obviously, you can't see them, but you're on live. Yeah. It's 1,300 people. Yeah. Look, it says right there. 14. Look, they're commenting right here. <laughs> He's all nervous They now. think you're cute. They're putting little hard eyes. They're saying you're cute. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no? Okay. 
single. He's single. He's single, ladies. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm gonna let your uncle go real quick so he can play with you. But but thank you so much, Gio, for for talking to me. Nah, man. Thank you for having me. You know, it's always good times with you guys. You know, say hi to your moms, your I brother, will. everybody. I will. And can't wait till we get back in the studio. Do the second, the second EP. Oh my gosh! Yes, the second EP or the album that might be or, coming up too. Or the album. Who knows? Exactly. But guys, say bye to Gio in English or Spanish. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining, and uh, I guess I'm gonna go now too. Yes. I'm going to eat my breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah, I need to go eat, eat too, man. I haven't anyway. had no lunch. I need to go eat. I only have okay. breakfast for now. Okay, Bye. eat good. Enjoy. All right, man. Take care. We'll All right, stand. I'll see you. All Bye. Right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay, that was Mr. Geo. And with that, on that note, I'm out because I'm starving. My stomach's been talking to me the whole time, telling me that you better go eat. Um... I don't know what my mom made me. It's probably like arroz con palta y pollo or huevo, something. I'm hoping it's salchipapas because we have leftover hot dogs from the 4th of July. But, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. And um, you're all beautiful. You're all sexy. I can't really tell, but your profile pictures look that way. Uh, I'll see you soon. And have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm talking to another writer. Um... And it should be fun spilling all the tea. I'll do a Q&A. Now that I know how this is going to go, I can definitely have more freedom to talk to you guys more at the beginning. Ask so you guys can ask some questions and then we'll go on and talk to the writers. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, babies.